Hey, this is Darnell with dgrillsmoke.com and the dgrill YouTube channel. Got about six and a half pounds of fresh boneless skinless chicken breast that I'm going to be grilling up on the Genesis 2 E310 propane gas grill with some applewood smoke chunks. Okay, so before I start uh, preparing that chicken, just wanted to show you my grill setup. I've got my smoker box over here on my left with the applewood wood chunks. I'm going to be placing the chicken over here. I've got my iGrill 3 ambient probe. I'll be putting uh, two iGrill 3 meat probes into the chicken. I'll probably be cooking it up to about 170 since I'm using two probes. If I get to about 170 I know I'll probably be at a safe temp. And so I'm going to give you my uh, weather report for my area here and right now it looks like we're at 95 degrees 94 degree real feel 34 percent humidity wind is at eight miles per hour and it's uh the evening time so it's partly sunny but it's getting near dark so i'm going to go ahead and get the grill started up all right all three burners are ready and and let things warm up and I'll take you inside so we can start prepping that chicken all right so I basically am going to be cooking that chicken at 450 degrees in the grill till it's done for my ingredients I'm just going to be coating that chicken with some uh, extra virgin olive oil but if you have regular virgin olive oil that would probably make less smoke I've got Mrs. Dash chicken grilling blend and I've got some good old salt and some good old pepper so I'm just going to be uh, covering them with the ingredients without any specific measure but just covering them with the ingredients and then taking them out to the grill and getting them smoke grilled with that applewood smoke chunk so I'm going to get started now Alright, so the internal temperature is in the 470 range, and I've got my knob set to on the far left is at half, that's where the smoker box is at. I've got the other two at one quarter, so I'm going to go get the chicken and put it on in there. I see that the smoke's starting to come a little bit from the smoker box, so it's getting going. So I'll bring you right back in a moment. All right, so I'm going to start putting that chicken on the grill now. All right, so I've got all my chicken on. I'm just going to basically close it up and let the eye grill do the work for me. Tell me when that chicken is uh, ready to eat. Alright, so almost 30 minutes in. I've got one piece of chicken that's showing like it's nearly done. The other is not nearly done at all. So basically what that tells me is that I need to swap the chicken that's in the front to the back and in the back to the front because it looks like this one's cooking a lot faster than that one tonight. So I'm just going to take and uh, swap these around. Alright, so uh, I'll leave it at that and wait until this is all fully cooked. Alright, so it took about 50 minutes and everything finally finished cooking. Some of those chicken breasts just took longer than others. But I'm gonna open it on up, get them out, and do a taste test now. So 
so I want to zoom you in here. That's after 50 minutes of cooking. So we'll go and have a taste test of these. Let me get them off. Turn the grill off here. Alright, so I've got all the chicken in. It's been uh, 50 minutes, which I will say was longer than I anticipated. Of the uh, two, this was the fast one. I've got a spoon here. I meant to have a fork. <laughs> and get a good fork. Alright, that's what I want, a fork. But of the two, this was the, the fast one that we saw reach 170 quick and ended up... Uh, little near 200 and this was the slow one this was the one that took the 50 minutes they're both as you can see about equal size I don't think that one is terribly larger than the other so uh, you know slow fast so you know we'll just cut into the one that was slow cut them right down the middle and have a look as you can see he's uh, he is fully cooked so, I grill 3 did uh, do its job there. I'm going to just cut a piece off of this here and just do a taste test. Let me get my uh, camera adjusted. Okay. So, here's our chicken. Excellent. Only word I can say. Excellent. If you're cooking chicken, you got to use a meat a meat pro, uh, meat probe with a meat thermometer like the I grill system. It just makes it hard. Make sure that it's perfect every time. So, uh, if you like this video, thumbs up. You can share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel, and good eating.